Hi guys, how are you? It's Jesus from Low Code Agency. <clears throat> Today I wanted to show you a tool called Add Event. And we are using Add Event, uh, their direct URL method, to send events to your calendar from your Glide app. So what we have here and uh, what Add Event graciously gave us is a couple of weeks of a trial version of their product called direct URL method. So it's pretty simple to have this with a template column in Glide. So in this case, we have an app that we built for this organization here in Mexico, where they have a lot of members and these members are part of different commissions and there are a lot of events on each commission, right? So they not only wanted to have the date of the event here, but they also wanted their users to be able to add this event into their own calendar. The simplest and easiest way to do that is with add event. So as you can see in their documentation here, you are just changing these values, in this case the client value, the start value, the end value, the title value, and time zone. And we add that over in our template column in Glide. So this is pretty much what we have, and we have a lot of parameters, right? So we have the start date, end date, the duration, title, description, location. Uh, we can have this organizer information if it's an all-day event, uh, the date format, which type of service, so either undefined or if it's an Apple uh, device where you want to save those events or Google. In our case, we ended, ended up using both Google and um, Apple because for some reason it worked better that way. That's why we have two buttons. So there's a lot of information here. So if we go to our data sheet here in Glide, I'm in my calendars tab, right? So the admin is creating these events. They add a date picker with time and date. And then what I have is a, con a template somewhere here. First things, for the first thing I had to do is to convert the pretty date that Glide has over here to back to an ugly date. And I had to do this because in Mexico, the we don't have month, day, year, but day, month, and year. So things were getting messy. So I reconvert this value back to normal uh, timestamp, same format that Glide creates it. And then we just have a couple of template columns here with a URL. I have my client ID, which is the license from an event. Um, and then we are just replacing values, right? So in this case, we are replacing the S value for the date. So the start, uh, we can have start and end date, but since we are not having that kind of detail in our Glide app, then we are just having the start date. Otherwise, as you can see here in their documentation, if end is not defined, then the end date is set to the start date plus one hour. We have the title of the event, we have the description, and I didn't set any time zones because every user that uses the app is in the same time, time zone, but you, we could have set that up. And then here we have service Google, and in the other one we just have service Apple. So we have our two template columns, as easy as that. And then I just added a couple buttons here that are pointing to those columns. The add event one, and then the other one that's a service from Apple, right? So what we do, or what the end user is doing is they click this button 
and then they click it if they have a Google Calendar. And then it opens up either in their phone, their app, their Google App Calendar, or in this case, in my laptop. So I have the name of the event and the time and date when that's happening. If I click Add Event to my iPhone, I download an ICS file. You can see it down here next to my image. If I click this, then it opens up my 